Hi, my name is Gary. I represent Electrical Terminal Service and we're here today to talk about crimping weather pack terminals. We're going to crimp weather pack terminals now. This is the GM, the official GM tool, a 12014254. It's a ratchet tool. It has two different sets of dies, a 18 to 20 and a 14 16. And it has a locator on the back to help you do the crimping. The terminal, uh, either male or female, is loaded into the tool, into the locator. The locator will hold the terminal in place while you put the seal and terminal into it. I take the wire and slip a seal on. These seals have two sides. On the one side is a triple baffle, on the other side is a narrow uh, opening. We slip that seal over the wire, in this case a 14 gauge wire, and we strip the end at about an eighth of an inch, maybe just slightly more, a 3 16 and then slide the seal back up so that the narrow end of the seal is on the wire side on the end, and on the other end uh, we'll have the triple baffle. Now we slip the wire and seal into the terminal and crimp it. One good pull and it'll give me a double crimp. I have a terminal that's been crimped both electrically terminal to wire and the seal is crimped onto the wire insulation. This particular terminal now can be slipped into a housing. The housing has a wire retainer and a working end and in this case we slip the terminal into the wire end. There's a click that lets you know it's been seated and then you can clip down the wire retainer. Uh, this also, uh, once it's been assembled, you can disassemble it. The wire, uh, the terminal removal tool can be slid in over the outside of the terminal, either the male or the female, and then the terminal can be extracted which makes it nice if you had a, a, a terminal that's corroded or you wanted to switch wire sizes or you wanted to make some changes in your harness. But that click and then the clamp holds the wire right in place. This is a nice system because I can take any number of combinations, so singles, doubles, triples, quadruples, and once they're snapped into place, I can put them together and release them any number of times. It makes a nice uh, low-cost system that's easy to break and take apart. Weatherpack terminals can be identified by the housings. The housings themselves will have a PED written right on the outside of the housing. On the outside of the terminal will be a PED on the inside of the terminal or on the outside of the terminal. They're GM terminals. They're made uh, by Delphi and you see an awful lot of them underneath the underside of trucks and cars and buses. Uh, let's start with the fact that the a lot of the different GM terminals are confused. Uh, the weather pack terminals are round pins and sockets whereas the Metropack, which is another GM family, are flat male and female tabs. They have a flat male tab and a female receptacle. We're only talking about weather pack, which are the male and female sockets. You can run as many as 20 amps in this system. It's a rugged, easy to use system that can be used not only on your GM car, but on any other type of low voltage uh, situation. Anything below about 58 volts, you can use this system. It's watertight, it's simple, it's inexpensive. All of these components are available. The GM tool is a 12014254, a regular stock item for us. The removal tool is a little tube that comes down over the outside of the terminal to release its tangs, and we call that a T3. We also have full kits that have the single, the double, the triple, 
and the four-way in males and females, as well as two different size terminals and seals. This is just a little uh, kit to give you an idea. All these things are available, including the wire, the seals, the terminals, everything's available separately as well. Thank you.